Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose, and today we're going to be talking about The Fir Tree, written by Han Christian Andersen. Now, before I go into summary and analysis of this work, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment so that the channel can continue to grow. So this story is a very interesting story. It's about a fir tree, and you know, the fir tree, right from the get-go of the story, it's in the forest, it's around nature, other trees, other fir trees, there's animals, there's birds, and it, this is the wild. And for some reason, this fir tree can speak, and it can think, and it can analyze, and it can um, think about the future and life. And, you know, we get thrown into this world where trees have feelings and thoughts and ambition, and this fir tree... You know, at first it's really small, it's it's not grown yet, uh, and basically animals are, you know, not respecting it as a big tree, and it's not uh, getting the recognition that it needs, and the tree is only thinking about how it can get bigger, um, how it can get taller, um, and, you know, how it can be just like one of the bigger trees, and the tree is missing um, the bigger parts of the picture about, you know, its life, and understanding that you know you have to enjoy the ride in life not just worry about where you're going but enjoy the past your past your present and your future you have to understand them um, and you know enjoy them as you go through life um, so the story right from the get-go gives us gives us this insight about uh, the journey of life uh, human the human journey of life or just um, it, it's really making us think about our lives as we read it because, you know, when you're young, especially when you're a little kid, you're, you're thinking about growing up, you're thinking about um, getting older, you know, kids always do this thing when they will say like, you know, I'm, I'm four and two quarters or I'm four and three quarters, you know, um, kids are doing anything that they possibly can to, to grow up faster, to get older faster. Um, and, um, well, you know, this story is saying, well, you know, wait, hold on there. Um, try to enjoy your life while you have it, you know, while you have it. Don't just try to race through it. And this little, you know, fir tree, um, you know, was just always, always not enjoying the moment, but thinking about how he could become better, um, how he could, um, you know, grow up, how he could become bigger. And so the story goes on. You know, the tree, it talks to the birds, it asks the bird about what's out there. You know, first the, the, the birds tell it that, you know, there are ships out there uh, and, you know, you could potentially be cut down and become a mass of a ship. Um, and the fir tree at first was like, oh man, I want to be the mass of a ship. Um, and then later the birds tell the tree about, you know, Christmas trees and what happens to Christmas trees, how they get decorated, how people, you know, stand around them, how people put presents around them. And from the bird's perspective, it's something that's glorious because the birds describe to the tree what a Christmas tree looks like and what humans um, do to Christmas trees. And this is one of the most interesting thing about this story uh, is that it gives you a tree's perspective and a bird's perspective of what human life is like. So the birds describe to the tree how humans have trees. They cut down the trees. They bring them into a warm room in their house. They decorate them. Um, they decorate them. Uh, and basically um, how they put all these garments and all these things on the tree. Um, and so um, the, the tree listens to the birds. And, um, you know, it's it's thinking about, you know, any life would be great, really. If it could be a mass of a ship, uh, if it could be a Christmas tree, it would take anything it could. Um, well, basically, the story goes on. The tree gets cut down. Um, it's taken to someone's home and it gets, um, you know, uh, put up and um, they decorate it. It put all types of Christmas decorations on it, gifts underneath it. Uh, Christmas comes and the tree is, you know, at times it's scared, at times it's happy, at times it's, so it's expressing a bunch of emotions, um, but, but you know, it's never truly enjoying um, its growth, the, the way that it grows up and gets taller, the way that, uh, you know, there was a certain point where, when animals um, avoided it, jumped over it, and another point where the birds uh, you know, you know, came to rest upon it. It didn't enjoy the part where it was in nature and around, you know, the, the natural, um, the natural world. 
Um, and still, when, when it's inside the house, it's, you know, it's experiencing all these things, but not living in the moment. Um, and so Christmas is over, the kids come, they get the presents, Santa Claus tells tales and stories and the fir trees, like, oh man, these tales are amazing, they're great. Um, it gets decorated, all these wonderful things happen. Uh, and then ultimately, you know, Christmas is over, all the presents are gone, the, the decorations get ripped off, and they, they, you know, they throw the tree into a corner and they just don't think about the tree anymore. And, you know, the whole time the tree's like, oh, you know, um, you know, this is one thing that happens to the tree throughout the story is that, you know, once it goes through a situation or a moment, um, it, it, it processes the moment. Um, he, the tree thinks about whether it was good or not. And then later he's like, oh, you know, whenever I do this again, um, you know, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to enjoy the moment. So every time the tree keeps telling itself, you know, once I get comfortable, once I get, you know, situated, um, in something familiar, then I'm going to enjoy it. And that's something that's crazy about life because life does not give you time to get comfortable. A lot of people, you know, have this notion, you know, I'm going to go through school, I'm going to work hard, I'm going to reach my dreams, and then I'm going to go on these vacations, and then I'm going to go travel, and then I'm going to enjoy my life. Well, life is not like that. Life is at times chaotic, at times crazy, at times organized, at times not. Um, there is no order in life. I mean, you can set an orderly life, but no one knows what's going to happen tomorrow. It's, it's all a mystery. Things can come and go. Good things come, bad things come. And, you know, you just have to keep moving forward and you have to enjoy the good times when you have it and the bad times, um, you just have to go through it how you can go through it. Um, and that's one of the messages in terms of analysis and deeper meaning as we go along with this summary. That's one of the things you get from this story of the fir tree is that life is not organized. Life is not situated the way that you want it. Some days are good. Some days are bad. Some days are lovely. And some days are, are downright horrific. All right. So, you know, the fir tree gets thrown into a to an attic, a, lo a loft, um, an area where they just store things. OK. And the mice and rats, they come to hear the stories that, that, that Santa Claus told about you know princesses and and you know all the fairy tales that Santa Claus told to the children on Christmas and um you know the the the, the mice and the rats uh they want to hear from the fir tree the fir tree was interesting for a while but still the the fir tree didn't under didn't, didn't really um love the moment that it had with the with the mice and the rats when it was telling them um you know its stories um again it's this is another part of its life uh, part of the, the, the fir tree's life where it has an audience, you know, the fir tree doesn't enjoy it as much as he should have. He thinks that there's more to come. Um, you know, everybody, a lot of people have this idea that life will always, there will be, always be more to come. There, there, you know, life will always get better. Um, you know, tomorrow is going to be a brighter day. Um, some people always have this idea, I'm not going to enjoy the day. I'm not going to enjoy my time right now. I'm going to wait for tomorrow. Well, what if today is your brightest day? You know, uh, what if uh, today is a day that, you know, what if tomorrow is Armageddon? You never know. I mean, today could be your brightest day or the last day of Earth and tomorrow uh, it's Armageddon. I mean, who knows? Um, so that's kind of a, an idea of, yes, you can hope for tomorrow. You can hope for better days. Um, but at the same time, you have to enjoy today to the fullest. Enjoy every single moment of life that you have, that you get. Because this little fir tree is always like, yeah, this is good. Uh, but I'm not going to enjoy it now. I'm going to enjoy it later. Um, yeah, I like this. But, you know, I know there's, there's better things to come. Um, it, what's kind of crazy is after they have the Christmas party, the fir tree keeps thinking to himself, you know what? They're, um, Christmas is going to come again. And next year, I'm going to enjoy it. Um, even more. And the thing is, like, as the reader, when I was reading this, one thing that came that came to me is that, well, after a tree gets cut down for Christmas and they decorate it, they put presents underneath it, you have your Christmas party and all that kind of stuff, you don't get put up again. Christmas trees, you know, especially the ones that you buy, you know, that you cut down and buy, it's only for that one year. You don't, you know, you don't reuse it. So when the Christmas tree is saying, you know, oh, I'm going to wait for next year to be put up again and there's going to be Christmas lights, uh, you know, Christmas decorations, all of that. I'm like, oh, man, you really don't know what's going to happen, do you? 
Um, so it, this is another thing about uh, the Christmas tree in this story. The Christmas tree is very naive, uh, very childish, just the same way that a child would think about life and how life is, you know, there's better things to come. You know, I can do better. I can do greater. I want to get older because kids, a lot of times kids think that because like, okay, from a kid's perspective, parents can eat cookies whenever they want. Uh, parents can do whatever they want, sleep whenever they want, watch as much TV and whenever they want. Um, and that's true. Parents can do all of that kind of stuff. But that also comes with repercussions. A lot of times kids don't see the repercussions of eating a truck full of cookies. I mean, if you eat a truck full of cookies, your body's not going to be happy. You know, you're going you're gonna to get sick of, of all those sweets. Um, and, you know, think about health. Think about how that can affect your health. So for adults... We know what happens when we eat too much sweets. You know, as an adult, if I go out and eat cheesecake every day, well, I'm, I might get a disease. I might, I mean, I mean, this is very serious, but if I, you know, eat sweets all day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you know, I might develop diabetes. And, you know, around the world, diabetes is a very serious issue. And a lot of adults, sometimes it's, it's you know, a poor diet and, um, uh, yeah, having a poor diet can cause health issues. That's not something that's hard to understand. And kids might not understand that. In the same way this little fir tree doesn't understand that. Um, it just thinks that there's gonna be more things and when you get when you get bigger, taller, or the next day, better things are gonna come. There's no repercussions. Um, so th there is a little bit of naive kind of outlook of life for this fir tree. And it's the same way that children, when they're young, looks at the world. Because children, I mean, we if you, if you remember when you were a child, you kind of had that idea of better days and you can you do all these kinds of great things when you get older. But when you get older, you, you start to understand what death is and your mortality and bills and diseases and uh, cancer and uh, car accidents and drunkenness and, and, and jail and, you know, all the things that come with good and bad behavior and and repercussions of life. And, and you know what can happen when you do bad things. You know what can happen when you do good things. You know, you know, if you're diligent, what that can bring. Um, kids, when you're like, you know, three to seven years old, that hasn't fully filled your mind yet. You, have, you haven't fully understand that yet. And so it's really hard for you to process all of that. Uh, so it is a lot to um, take in. Um, so at the end of the story, the, the fir tree gets taken out of the attic, the loft, and they get it gets thrown into the courtyard. They chop it up. They use it as firewood. They make a fire out of it. The little fir tree, the fir tree thinks that it was going to be, you know, a Christmas tree again. But no, it just gets cut up and turned into firewood. And what's really sad is, I mean, for me, the toughest part of the story was when the, the little, the fir tree had a star on top of it that was there um, after Christmas. And they rip the a little kid rips off the the star on top of it and goes out and play with it and I'm like man this tree is about to get murdered it's about to get murked because um you know taking the star on top of the tree that they forgot was like yeah this is it for you buddy like you're about to get chopped up and the fir tree's like you know there's gonna be better days and. It, it kind of paints a picture at the end of the story where the fir tree is all brown now. The branches are not as glorious. It's not a young tree anymore. And throughout the story, I mean, it, you know, there's several signs when they tell the fir tree, listen, you're not that good looking anymore. You're not a, a nice looking tree anymore. You're getting older. And the tree's like denying it and denial. That's another big part of this story. Uh, the story. The tree's denying that there's bad things going to happen. It just keeps looking towards the future and, and thinking that everything's going to be well. Um, but that's just not what happens. Um, and um, ultimately, um, it it comes to the point where they chop up the fir tree. Um, you know, um, it, they chop off the fir tree and uh, they use it as firewood. And the end, the, the tree gets murdered. Um we don't hear it anymore. Uh, in terms of deeper meaning, in terms of analysis here, well, there's a lot to take in. Um, it says a lot about life. Don't rush to grow up. Um, you know, that's the central idea in terms of analysis here. That's the central idea of this story. Don't, if you're a kid, if you're an adult, if you're in your 30s, 20s, you know, what, whatever age you are, don't rush to get through life. Don't rush to get through school. Don't rush to get through your job. 
you know, enjoy everything that you, you have in this life. Um, nothing's promised. Good days, bad days. Um, try to enjoy it as much as you can. Um, try to stay positive. Um, don't think that tomorrow's always going to be a brighter day. Um, and um, enjoy the good things in life while you have them. Because those, those sunny days in the forest that the fir tree had, at some point, start to remember those nice days, those nice breezy, uh, filled with friends and animals, you know, all those days of its youth, um, you know, you know, all the days of its youth, um, it just, all of those um, things go back to the fir tree. And, um, you know, when the, you know, when times were better, um, but at the end of its life, it's just, um, it's not that good anymore. Um, but yeah, there's, you know, patience, enjoying your life while you have it. Um, don't rush through things. Um, and also, you know, the, the outlook of, um, you know, how humans, you know, th this tree was just optimistic, just like humans. I mean, humans, we are definitely optimistic, um, thinking about greater days and, and better things to come, but it, it never truly, uh, I mean, life is a mystery. Sometimes it ends the way that we want it. And sometimes we end up being firewood, like this fir tree. Um, so, you know, fight through it and, and yeah, yeah, those are some of the, the, the ideas and topics and, and themes that you get from this story, but it is a sad ending because the fir tree gets chopped up and, and murked. It just, they kill it. Yeah. You know, let's have a moment of silence, but that's all I had to say. I'll see you guys in the next video.